Welcome to the West Perry Sound District Museum's YouTube channel. Each month, we will talk about a unique artifact from our collection and the history connected to it. Like what you see? Don't forget to like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. To see more amazing videos, please donate to the West Perry Sound District Museum and check out our website at www.museumontowerhill.com. Welcome to the West Perry Sound District Museum. My name is Michaela and I am the Acting Collection Supervisor and I'd like to welcome you to our newest exhibit, Tracing the Legacy of the Wabanel. So this exhibit has been a long progress. Uh, we've been working on it for on and off for about two years and we are very, very happy that it is finally open. This exhibit is going to explore not only the ships going down, but also its kind of whole lifespan. So we wanted to kind of flesh out the details, learn a bit about why it was built, how it was built, who made it, where it came from, how it got here, and kind of the impact that it has and its long-standing legacy. If you drive around town, you'll often see Wabano Road or Wabano Beach. And these are just some s simple reminders that the Wapano had such a huge impact on this area. So we wanted to do our exhibit. And for this month's video, from into, our, into our collection, we decided to focus on one particular artifact. This item was brought to us in 1990, and it is a partial ship's wheel. So it is a wooden wheel here that was found at Moose Deer Point, which is in the rough location of where the Wabano went down, believed to be. And a number of different artifacts have been found all along that area, right up until where the hull has been found. Along with this artifact came a note, and I'll read from our accession book to say what it is. So the note accompanying it said that the wheel and its boilers are still out uh, the wheel was found from the ill-fated Wabano. Its boilers are still out by the Haystack Rocks. This found near the mouth of the 12 Mile and Moose Deer Point in about 10 feet of water. It also notes that the artifact was soaked in glycol to preserve it. So this is a commonly used chemical to preserve specifically wood artifacts as it can uh, stop dry rot from happening and make sure that the artifact can stay with us and be in our museum for a very long time. And according to this, it was soaked in it prior to coming to us. So it's likely that um, the individuals had some knowledge of taking care of wooden items. And we, uh, they were also able to confirm uh, on the note that a gentleman, Wellington Welch, who was from San Susi, was uh, the one that confirmed that it was a Wabano relic or believed to be a Wabano relic. If you liked this video and you're interested in learning a little bit more about the Wabano, please make sure to come to the museum uh, for July and August. We are open uh, Wednesday through Sunday from 10 to 5, and then from September through November, we'll be open uh, from uh, Wednesday through Saturday from 11 to 4, and this exhibit will be open until no mid of November. So make sure to stop by while it's still here so you can learn a little bit more about the Wabano. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and join us next month for another Into Our Collections video.